the Group B era, you saw so much progress and so much aggressive development take place in such a short time. I mean, just as an example, I mean, you see the start of it, you have the Lancia 037, that was almost outclassed upon arrival. If it weren't for the great innovation of the team and the creativity of the team at the time and some magnificent driving from Volta Royal, the 037 would have been kind of a footnote in, in, in history. And then, you know, onto the, you know, to the Delta S4s and the T16s and stuff, I mean, in a very short time, you see a ton of development. And the RS200 is like at the zenith of that development. You can't help but look at the RS200 and almost wonder, what if? What if Group B had, had been able to continue? The RS200 would have absolutely dominated. The base car is very, very exciting, but there were 20 cars that were set aside and in a total of 24 that were ultimately built that received the hallowed evolution spec, which changed the brakes, changed the wheels, changed turbo, changed the gearbox, changed almost everything mechanically about the car. The end result is a car that is as close to an actual Group B rally car that as you can buy. The second you fire that car up, you know. It's, I mean, the, the noise, the idle, I mean, that Cosworth BDT, which in the, the evolution, you know, in the case of the evolution gets punched out to 2.1 liters. The lope of the idle, I mean, everything about it, just that the rattling of the gearbox, I mean, everything about it harkens to the nervous thoroughbred nature of a true race car. When this car gets on boost, hold on. It is explosive. It's violent. It is violent when it accelerates but it's still controlled. You know, it's it's not it's not skating all over the road. It just it just goes straight. It is an exquisite exceptional thing, but make no mistake, this is the closest thing that you can get to a group B competition car that money can buy. And the final evolution of a group B competition car that money can buy, which makes it incredible and amazing in this particular example having had u.s provenance basically from new and significant recommissioning by jeff page and on and on and on the, I mean, the provenance of this particular example is pretty bulletproof and we could not be more proud to have it as part of the homologation heroes collection